viewers of this channel know what's about to happen now. What's called an unboxing. Follow me down the rabbit hole into another under the hood. This familiar looking cardboard packet for delivery of books, well it contains Kickstarter rewards from Triple Ace Games. Now, I think most people react thinking, wow, are my books okay when they see a package like this? But as you can see, uh, there's a good distance between your books and the edges of the packet. They're completely encased in cardboard. There's bubble wrap inside. It's taped securely even though there's very strong glue. Basically, your books are going to be fine. But that initial moment of panic when you see what <laughs> the post office has done uh, can be a hoot. Now, Kickstarter rewards. For what? Leagues of Gothic Horror. Let's start cutting. Let's shed our cardboard skin and expose the beauty within. Now, one-handed, as usual, I'm going to have trouble with this. And reaching inside, the, the cardboard is folded over, so you've got a double layer of protection. You can't actually just pull it out like the, like the tongue of a cereal box or whatever. Uh, so, I'm going to have to get this open, see if I can do it without turning the camera off. For some reason, that's important. Uh, okay. More one-handed. There! We're in. And on top is Mummies. One of the last produced and one of the first seen. Okay. Now, all of these books, as has been mentioned uh, before, all of these books were written before their Kickstarters launched, which I think is the only way to fly. And I'm finding it hard to invest in Kickstarters, which don't do it that way. So what we're looking at is the combined rewards from two concurrent Kickstarters done by Triple Ace Games. Uh, on top here we have Mummies, Guide to Mummies, which was a stretch goal for the Globetrotters Guide to London. And then underneath that we have the Guide to Apparitions and the Guide to Black Magic, which were stretch goals for the release of Leagues of Gothic Horror itself. All of those books are represented in this video. So this is the back of Mummies. It's very slender, small size, like a digest size or comic book size. Clocks in at 64 pages. Black and white interior, very thick paper, and if you're thinking, well, 64 pages isn't very much, it's packed. All of these books are absolutely packed with ideas, with text, with stats, with suggestions, with sample characters, with new abilities, with ways to design the perfect version of these classic monsters or these classic uh, archetypal elements like black magic and how to make that expressly fit your group or your game or whatever. There's plentiful art and there's very engaging and clear writing all the way through. I've been attached to this project since before it was a project. I got to read these in manuscript form, and it's been really hard to keep my mouth shut in the intervening time. Guide to Black Magic is useful for any ubiquity game. You could even use it as the, the foundation for like occult orders in worlds which don't have magic. The, the depth to which it gets into the minds of those who seek out this type of magic and the organizations that they might form and the type of people they might associate with, all of these things just inspire. And more than anything else, that's what's exciting about this project is just how many story seeds, adventure seeds, campaign ideas, interesting creatures, interesting locations, interesting people, interesting NPCs and followers, that Wiki managed to pack into everything, every page. Each of these guides to the classic monsters serves as a, a compendium of ideas for the, the whole range of possibilities for these types of creatures. Guide to Apparitions is packed with every type of ghost and spook and specter imaginable and ways to customize them, expand them, how to tie them to locations or, or suggestions for how to make your hunting memorable. And the same goes for mummies and for black magic. It's not just one interpretation of these things to fit the leagues of gothic horror uh, aspect. It's 
in every sense of the word, a toolkit for these monsters. Not only do you have suggestions laid out of particular types of ghost or particular forms of mummy or particular branches of black magic, but ways to make your own. Apparitions, by the time I finished editing it, had me wanting to run at least three campaigns all at the same time. And we've done a one-shot based out of one a one-line suggestion in Apparitions, and that's available on my channel if you'd like to see some people playing Leagues of Gothic Horror. Okay, these are the three guides that currently exist. There are two more that are being kickstarted as I film. That's going to end probably before people see this, uh, and that will support uh, vampires and shapeshifters. So the line is complete. But Globetrotter's Guide to London. This one is suitable, well, again, for any ubiquity-powered game, or really any Victorian-era game. It's one of the best guidebooks to London, I think, that I have ever read for a role-playing game supplement, and more interesting than the real-life ones. This one is tied to the, the parent line, Leagues of Adventure, and also has references within for Leagues of Gothic Horror. When I mentioned that the guides to the classic monsters were packed, they have nothing on what's inside this book. I mean, it's loaded. The Guide to London is 78 packed pages of London. The atmosphere, the streets, the people that are there, adventure seeds, how to run London as an as a part of your campaign. There are new archetypes uh, for the period, each of them offering more ideas about the setting. There are historical and fictional characters living together in you know, the Leagues of Adventure conceit. There is a fantastic two-page spread map keyed to the more than 100 locations which are organized by region within London itself. All the different Londons. So, Globetrotter's Guide to London is, well, it's impressive in its own right. Take a look at this map. All right. The Globetrotter's Map of London, 1898, and everything on it explained for you. Now so far all of these supplements are good for Leagues of Adventure or Leagues of Gothic Horror of course or really any ubiquity game but this is what we've been waiting for. This is the hardcover version of Leagues of Gothic Horror which is 158 pages designed to take you from zero to hero as a GM for Gothic Horror. I think if you were just to see this book, you would be forgiven for thinking that this was like the end word on the genre for role-playing. It would seem so complete. The fact that the author, Paul Wiggy, Wade Williams, was able to then go on to pen five source books for the classic monsters and an expansion of almost 100 pages is... <laughs> Makes me a little jealous, actually. Hardcover solid. It has a matte finish, so it feels very smooth to the fingers, and you'll note that there is zero glare. Now, Wiggy's games have come to mean a lot to me over the years, so when I saw that with the Gothic Horror Kickstarter we could not only get hardcover, but we could have a signed book plate as well, I went for that. And look, mine's number six, and now echoing in my head is the opening to The Prisoner. <laughs> Leagues of Gothic Horror, looking inside, you'll see, is as densely packed as everything else I've shown you in this video. Just section after section, page after page of everything you need to run a horror campaign to bring in fear, to bring in the occult, the supernatural. There are tomes of arcane lore. There are creatures. There's locations. There's GM advice. Forbidden rituals. Psychic powers. Villains galore and so many campaign, scenario, one-shot ideas jammed in here that I don't think I will ever see the end of it. Constantly inspiring is how this project feels to me. 
using this archetype section as an example, you can see how the art reinforces the, the fog of London, the, the dark streets, and the shrouded nights of Gothic horror, each archetype carefully designed to reinforce one part of the genre or another. Great. And that ends our overview. Leagues of Gothic Horror is a standard size for an RPG book, as is Globetrotter's Guide to London. The guides to the classic monsters are a digest size, with two more forthcoming. They are vampires and shapeshifters. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the gothic horror line and that your world is about to become a darker place.